Tosh Delay, welcome to Tibet this week, a weekly news feature on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Central Tibetan Administration. Let's have a look at today's headlines. His Holiness the Dalai Lama interacts with Muslim scholars from Malaysia, Sweden and USA. Tibetan Parliament passes resolution of gratitude to Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi. Swiss National Council approves extraordinary humanitarian action, a step closer to finding relief for Tibetans without papers. Japanese Sangha members issue statement denouncing Chinese interference in Tibetan religious issues. Teachers of Tibetan weekend schools in North America receive workshop on sea learning. Launch of Tibetan Community of Australia football team. Mayoral Office of St. Shafri hoist Tibetan national flag. Delegation of Deutsche Group der Liberal International visits Tibetan parliament in exile. On Monday this week, His Holiness the Dalai Lama met with a group of Muslim scholars from Malaysia, Sweden and the USA. During his brief interaction, His Holiness the Dalai Lama spoke on the promotion of religious harmony as one of his four principal commitments for a peaceful and compassionate world. I always say, we human being, I never say only Buddhist, all human being. We are human brothers, sisters, we are the same. And world, one planet, we have to live together. So biologically, we all brothers, sisters of this world. So no reason to uh, quarrel in the name of religion. Religion comes later. At the time of birth, no religion. Now, religion is the same. And if you accept religion, it's good. If you not accept religion, still you are human brothers or sisters. We have to live together. The Tibetan parliament in exile during its fourth day of the budget session unanimously passed an official resolution of gratitude to Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi for being one of the oldest and constant friend of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Tibet. The Tibetan lawmakers expressed appreciation to the U.S. Speaker Emerita for strengthening the U.S. Congress bipartisan commitment to advancing the cause of Tibet in the U.S. Congress and lauded her fearless leadership, commitment and unyielding perseverance in defending the freedom, justice and democracy of those oppressed by China. The former Speaker stepped down in November last year from the position after leading the U.S. House for more than two historic decades. The Swiss National Council passed a motion for extraordinary humanitarian action for asylum seekers, especially for persons receiving emergency aid from old law asylum procedures on Thursday last week. The motion was passed in favor with 181 votes and five abstentions. The motion aims to find solution for 3,000 rejected asylum seekers that also includes Tibetans under the old asylum procedures of Switzerland. The new asylum procedure was enforced from 1st March 2019 and the motion seeks relief for all the rejected asylum applicants who submitted their application before 28th February 2019. The motion was initiated on 16th March 2021 by the former National Councillor Marianne Steve Feller who was also a member of the Swiss Parliamentary Support Group for Tibet and Councillor Nicholas Samuel Gerger who is the current co-president of the Swiss Parliamentary Support Group for Tibet presented the motion on 16th March this year. Representative Tilichugi welcomed the passage of the motion and thanked the parliamentarians for their support. The Swiss Tibetan Friendship Association, the Tibetan Community of Switzerland and Liechtenstein, the Tibetan Women's Association of Switzerland and the Tibetan Youth Association in Europe had jointly organized a joint petition with over 3,000 signatures submitted to Swiss government calling for the humanitarian solution on 10 March 2021.
Super Sangha, an association of non-partisan Japanese Buddhist Sangha members, issued condemned the continued religious repressions in Tibet and the Chinese Communist Party's insidious propaganda claiming authority to select the reincarnation of high Tibetan lamas, including the reincarnation of the 14th Dalai Lama. The statement was issued on 10 March and read during the 64th anniversary of the Tibetan National Uprising Day function on 11th March in Tokyo. Venerable Kobayashi Shui and Venerable Ono Jokan of Super Samka visited the liaison office of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and handed over the statement officially to Representative Dr. Arya Tsawai Gelbo. Representative Dr. Arya Tsawai Gelbo thanked the Super Samka delegations for the statement and for their continued support for Tibetans' struggle for peace and justice. Similar statements were issued by Japan Buddhist Conference for World Federation last year and Tibet Support Group Japan in the last month. The Office of Tibet Washington, D.C. and the Tibetan Association in Northern California jointly organized a workshop on sea learning for teachers of 18 Tibetan weekend schools in North America from 17 to 19 March. The trainer for this workshop is led by Geshe Lopsan Tenzi Negi, Executive Director at Emory University Center for Contemplative Science and Compassion-Based Ethics, Chundu Sambil, Senior Translator, Interpreter at Emory, Los Angeles-based veteran teacher Tenzi Chimi Nuwa and Tenzi Nupun Nangsil. The inaugural of the three-day workshop was attended by Representative Toru Namge Chudup, Tibetan Liaison Officer Kunga Tashi, TANC President Jimba Tharjin, and Nam Chuegil School's Principal Kesal Doji. The worldwide initiative of sea learning is based on the guidance of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to promote a holistic education of heart and mind. In the presence of Representative Kama Singhi of Office of Tibet, Canberra, the Tibetan community of Australia formally launched its football team on Friday last week. The Australian Tibetan community is sending their team for the first time to participate in the Game Chumbo Memorial Gold Cup to be held in Dharamshala in June this year. In an expression of dedicated support towards the cause of Tibet, the mayoral office of St. Shafari organized a Tibetan flag hoisting ceremony on Monday this week. The coordinator of Bureau de Tibet in Paris, Thubtin Tsiring and Kama Tile, the president of Tibetan community in France, attended the flag hoisting ceremony and interacted with the Tibetan residents of Grenoble. A delegation from Deutsch Group der Liberal International visited Tibetan parliament in exile on Wednesday this week. The delegates were received by Deputy Speaker Doma Sering Tekang at the Standing Committee's Hall. The Deputy Speaker informed the delegation of the grim and alarming human rights situation inside Tibet. The delegates observed the proceedings of the budget session of the Tibetan parliament in exile, where they were accorded with welcome applause. <laughs> That is all for this week's news edition on Tibet this week. Thank you for watching Tibet TV.